Mr. Hi. I got a call. Somebody running down the roadway or walking down the roadway. One I ran here from Miami. Did you come from Little River? Yeah, today I came from McPherson. McPherson? So okay. I'm ultimately going Miami to California, making a documentary. Sweet. <laughs> and you're in it right now. <laughs> Hi, We're in it. Hi. So uh, I talked to the Lions cops up here. They were they'd give us a heads up who you were probably. Oh, cool. Um, Unfortunately, the overnight campground is closed. Yeah. So if you need a bathroom, they okay. said um, you can stay in the park behind the guestway. You just can't pitch a tent. Yeah, I and, don't have a tent. I have a hammock. So any trees, I just hang or okay. any kind of. And then shelter. you have the the Casey's across the road. Yeah. You can. Is Casey's still open. For Casey's pizza? is open all night long. Yeah, I want a pizza. I was running this whole way. I'm so hungry now, and I'm thinking, I hope this pizza. <laughs> I, I would offer you a ride, but we're not allowed to give you by rides anymore with, well, the, I'm, with I'm, the coronavirus. I would be cheating if I had a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to say I ran here from Miami. I'd be like, I ran some of it, but I got a ride. <laughs> oh. Well, All thank right. you so much for stopping. That's really cool. No problem. You have a good day and be safe. Police support vehicle. <laughs> I'm so happy to know that there's pizza up ahead. That's all I've been thinking about. So hungry now. I've just been eating raisins and gets a bit boring. The same cliff bars. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Whew. Made it to Lions. Here's the park. It's a kick ass slide. I like that slide. I want to go down it. There's some amazing bars. Look at the bars. That's awesome. See a bar do pull-ups. It's very kind of the policy enforcement police support vehicle to offer up this park. However, there's too much light. There's lights everywhere. How am I going to sleep with the lights on? I can see the Casey's. Yes. Because you can be free if you just be love now. Create and inspire. By doing what you love, this is the moment. Love now. It repeats doing what you love. The moment love now it's real. Yes. Woo! Look at that. Cheeseless. All the veggies. I didn't really intend on a 40 mile day. I didn't have any idea that would happen. And because it was broken up into two didn't notice it so much, you know? Wasn't as painful. And played basketball. 40 miles and loads of games of basketball. Have a rest day tomorrow. Hotel. Rest. Edit. Recover. Ice. Hi there, good morning ladies and gentle monkeys, my name's Seb, this is the cam, boom. This is Seb cam. The sun just rose up and has now woken me up. It's about nine, maybe pushing ten now. But I've been just, had my head tucked back here in the shade. And I was sleeping. This is why, oh, this is why I made the effort to find somewhere a bit more quiet I'm in some tree line on the edge of sort of 
river, like there's nothing here. There's no reason for anybody to come and disturb me. No one can really see me. I'm not sleeping in the middle of a busy park with the lights on. <sighs> on the floor with the pine cones. It's really nice. I'm right down low, almost on the ground. This was the best hammock position I could get. Worked out great. I had to use the Casey's Wi-Fi to even find the hotel. This life is a paradox, a mirror of confusion, love now. I've got a guy in a van looking at me now, which I'm sure he's gonna wanna say hi. <laughs> Morning. I'm a filmmaker from London. Trees. Is it your trees? Yeah. I thought this was That's private like, fucking property, dude. Oh, I thought that was like a it just looked like an edge of a no, river. It's not. My bad. I'm running from Miami to California. So I've been staying in the wild. And yesterday I ran from McPherson to here. It was almost 40 miles, so I was really tired. And I'm gonna stay up at the hotel. But it was so late at night I couldn't check in. And I could see there were a lot of houses, but I thought that was just like, it seemed like okay. empty property. So I just hung my hammock between trees. Okay. That was really it. Well, it's private property, so yeah. Right, I'm sorry. Good luck. Thank you. That's really the problem with being so tired in the dark at night. It just looks like this is a good place. And of course, if I got up at five, six in the morning, no one would even notice or be particularly upset, but of course he's seen me there. What are you doing in my trees? I slept very peacefully. I slept better than I would if I was in the park. Ah, oh, I feel even worse now. Look at all these woods. There was tons of options here. That seems like just wasteland. That's what I meant. That's what I usually go for. It's like wasteland woods, no one's backyard. So this is the back of the hotel. If I had just walked a little bit further, I would have got to the hotel. I had the intuition, I thought, I'll go and find where the hotel is and I'll see what's around it. But I was so tired, I was just like, well, these trees will do. So this is the hotel, the Lion's Inn. Wow, look at this, it's on the door. You are here, roughly. <laughs> Yeah! It's 11.36, we've already checked in, we're firing up the laptop, and we know where we're heading. This is my office space. Oh, and the Wi-Fi is really fast. Look at this. Boom! <laughs> Back up everything. And I've got 24 hours, if I want it, until 11 a.m. that I gotta leave. So I can really get some stuff done. Ready, steady, let's go. Hey, look who it is, recognize that face? So I'm currently uploading Ed Pratt, who I just spoke to, the unicycle guy, and Blake, that podcast will be coming soon. Earth is gonna be editing it. Thank you to Earth. AKA Bradley, he's my guy. Thank you so much, pal. Peace on the streets, son.
is up there, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam in the morning. Look how cloudy it is. Look. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's grey. I never really thought I'd be happy to see the entire sky is grey. And I'm going, yes! Grey skies. Like, I'm from England. It's always grey there. Here, it's just been hot, 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 scorchio, toasted and it's become quite difficult to do a lot of miles purely because of the heat. This morning I got up at 10 minutes past four. <laughs> My alarm is set for 4.44, but I woke up early anyway, so I just got up. I know I have to get up, so I, I tried to lay back in bed. I lay there and then was like, why am I laying here? I'm awake. I've perfectly woken up in a sleep cycle. Let's not start another sleep cycle, then interrupt it with the alarm. Somehow I've got a live signal right now, which is amazing. And 32 miles to the next big town with a Taco Bell. It's got a Taco Bell. I've already plotted it on the map from where I am to the Taco Bell. It's about 32 miles. And I'm taking the dirt road. There's a main highway called the 56 but it's a um, highway. So I've hopped over one mile, boom. I'm gonna go all the way along this dirt road. Just hope there's the odd farmhouse for water and I should be fine. I don't really intend on stopping. I wanna do the whole 30 miles and just get it done. There was a town about 20 miles, so I could do 20 and stop and then do 10. But I just kinda of wanna get it over with. Taco Bell awaits being rice burritos with my name on. So that's my motivation. Running from one Taco Bell to the next. I think I've been bitten by three mosquitoes this morning. So I'm trying to keep moving. Just whenever I stop and stay still, they're out here. They're coming to get me. So that's also my motivation to keep moving. You enjoying the running? Are you running with me? Are you running? We're running, we're running. Yeah, we're running, buddies. Good job. You're getting tired now. <laughs> You're getting tired. Your friend is slacking at the back. Oh, you look a bit more tired, buddy. Huh? <laughs> You're so funny. Look at your smiley face. It's my husky friend. You all right back there? You okay back there? Yeah. You gotta go home at some point, buddies. <laughs> They're like battling each other, jumping in the ditch. This is my entertainment this morning. They're great, look at them. Playing around. <laughs> you gotta go home soon, buddies. Oh God, he's gonna go in there. You guys are crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. Cooling down. There's a clue. A message from the dog friends. If you get hot, jump in the river. What legends. I've always said I want to run with a husky. I think that's the first time I've ever really done it. Wild, like, not on a leash. That was cool. Very happy about that. <laughs> Dog friends! But generally, they know to go home. They reach a kind of limit and they're like, yo, I can't go much further. They turn back. <laughs> Good morning, buddies. Good morning, cow friends. How we doing, stroller? They see me strolling. Are you good? Are you having fun on our adventure? Hey, are you having good fun? You're amazing good at running. You're very good at running, buddy. Yeah. You know, you tell me if you get tired. All right? Tell me if you're tired. I think it's easy. For you, it's easy, huh? Hey? 
we got the people here and you live inside the camera. They're all here with us. <laughs> we got the live stream streaming. We got my buddy Stroller strolling. Tell me if you're getting tired, bud. Huh? I feel like he's slowing down. He's probably never run this far ever. We're running. Running with my buddy, running with my buddy. You know you gotta go home sometime. But I appreciate the company. Have a drink. <laughs> You're funny. You got a funny face. Okay, so I'm just running out of this house. There was a nice lady just pulled up in the car. We tried to give Stroller a drink and then I told her he's not really my dog and uh, I told her where he's from. She's going to run him back down the road. So I feel kind of sad to leave him behind but he wasn't showing any signs of turning back and it was fun while it lasted. That was a really awesome beginning to the day, so the cunning plan is she's keeping him entertained right now. We love you, Stroller! He was cool. He had such a cute smile. Good memories. And it got to fulfill one of my dreams, which is running with a husky. Off the leash, wild. That was way cool. I would have run with him all the way to California if I could do. I've considered it, not like I haven't thought about it, you know, have a dog friend, have a husky friend, specifically huskies would be really easy to run with. It's all well and good thinking, oh, how romantic, running with a husky, but at some point I'm going to have to say goodbye and we're going to, we're going to break up. So I'm kind of happy that this was a short breakup, just a five mile relationship, <laughs> no long term commitments. Cow friends! We are the cow friends. We are the cow friends. Look at you. What's up buddies? Hi. Yeah. See you later then. Look at you. You're the only one with a white face. <laughs> Did you know that? You're the only one with a white face. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You're the odd one out. Oi, whitey. you got a white face. All of us have got brown faces. You're the white one. Alrighty then. No more cow racism here. See you later, buddies. My goal is drink all of this and drink another one, then take one with me. I've learned to not just refill it once and walk away because then I'm dehydrated. I've only had one liter. So I made it to Great Bend, that was like a 32 mile day, or technically there's two more miles to Taco Bell. But I reached this lodge, and there's a sign outside that said $38, and I was like, what? 38? With tax? It's $44. Yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. It's actually really nice in here, look. Look how fancy it is. Loads of space. 
Lots of surface area, microwave, fridge, freezer. We got everything. I can even go in the chair and put my feet up. This is amazing. What? <laughs> yeah! Ah, I see you. I see you. Go on, just land, just land, just land somewhere. Make a decision. Yes! Seven flies in the room. I'm catching them like Mr. Miyagi right now. Wah! Alrighty then, peeps. Check this out. I called in Alex and Matt. Come around here so we can say hi. This dude is like the local Uber. Took me to Taco Bell. And he's got his buddy Matt with him who's just hanging out. But they're super stoked about the whole journey. So I was like, whew. Let's put him in the vlog. Oh yeah, how much do I owe you? I got a whole ton of Taco Bell and Dustin sent me some stuff from the post office and these guys saved me the trouble of like how many miles would that have been that would have sucked six more miles on top of 30 miles yeah I'd rather Show. Alex and Matt show. Alright. Later. Bye. Bye. Yes. I've got everything. This is brilliant. It's like how much is your time worth? You know? That would have been at least, I would say an hour. It might have been two hours. of in the dead heat of the day and I would have gone to Taco Bell and how would I have carried all this home? I wouldn't have carried it home. Woo! Thank you Dustin. This is a few exciting goodies. I can hardly remember what it is. What is it Dustin? I don't know if I can express how epic this is. I've got all these range of beans and I'm gonna be adding them to this. Oh, yes. A one dollar burrito becomes an epic meal. Yes. Look at that. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, geese? My name's Seb. This is the Camp Boom. This is Seb Camp Boom. There's 300 people live right now watching me open my mail. I can't remember what's in my own mail, but the people who are in the live reminded me. Thank you, Quentin. He's like, it's a selfie stick holder. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm going to open it with a spoon. Yes. Hammock straps, I forgot about this. Yes, it's not gonna make or break the bank in terms of size and weight, but they're big enough straps to go long distance for trees that are far apart or around really, 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 really big trees. And Dustin says, <coughs> <laughs> Dear gas man, packed up and went to Aspen. Sorry about the money. <laughs> oh, Dustin, that's so funny. I'm almost in tears. My actual eyes are starting to water. I didn't see that one coming. Hope this package finds you well. Yeah, very well. Bit of ice on my leg, 30 miles, surrounded by Taco Bell. 
There were about seven flies in the room. Aspen is just around the bend. A little bit of a pun there, maybe, because I'm in a place called Great Bend. <laughs> Someplace warm. A place where the beer flows like wine. Where beautiful women instinctively flock like the salmon of Capistrano. I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. Basically, everything he wrote is Dumb and Dumber quotes on both sides of the page. Oh, there's more surprises. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking, so funny. I owe you one thousand, one thousand dollars for the orange suit. What is this? What is this? Where's all the money? That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. Go ahead and add it up. Every cent's accounted for. I owe you $1,500 for Harry's skis. <laughs> there it is. I knew that one was coming. That's uh, $125,000 for the car. Might want to hang on to that one. All right here then. So here's a table with uh, covered in IOUs. There's nothing left. Except this hat, which I'll be wearing for the next couple of months. You were perched here. That was it. Just the camera was just balanced on a Taco Bell box. We have to look in there to see how it works. Something like that. Something, it does something like that and holds two phones. You've got to go in a bar in Aspen and shout, We've landed on the moon! <laughs> no way! No way! We landed on the moon! Go, go, gadget, selfie stick. So I kind of thought that might happen, but that's okay. Welcome to the Sebcam show. It's a guy in a mirror with two phones. Earlier, he was eating burritos. It doesn't get any better than this. This is it. All right, then. I have two phones for eyes. Take me to your leader. Crispy said, what's the view outside like? It's like this. How many U-Hauls can you fit in a U-Haul? That's what everybody wants to know. Alrighty there. Bye, where are you there? Bye, it's been nice to see you vlog people. I'm gonna push the button. I love you. My name's Seb, this is the cam. Boom, this is Seb cam. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!